people of the internet, I am Lucha Man. Welcome to Lucha Man Reviews. It's been a little while since I've been on here, sorry. But today I'm reviewing, today I'm reviewing a, a movie called Mr. Monk's Final Case, a monk movie. It uh, came out on the 8th of December, and the question, so yeah, sorry it's a little late to get into the review for this, but hey, I'm here, so let's uh, get into it. Now, before uh, covering the review itself, first off, I think there needs to be some backstory context, but there's also some one very important thing. The move in the movie, one of the characters is struggling with the idea of whether or not they should end their own life. Now, this is a very serious topic, and here's what. It's so serious is that uh, at, by, by the end of the film, they say if you or someone you know is struggling with these thoughts, uh, to call the prevention hotline or go online to the prevention website. There are people that want to listen and to help. So, yeah, so it's, yeah, so it's a very serious thing. Not making light of this is not something to make fun of at all. So, yeah, it's very serious. So, yeah, if, uh, if you or someone you know is struggling with these thoughts, reach out. There are people out there that want to listen and want to help you. Or the person who needs, who, who needs to be listened to. Just a little precautionary thing if you go into this film. Okay, so now the question is, before the film, some of you will be wondering, what and or who is Mr. Monk? Well, it's a show that ran on USA Network from 2002 until 2008. It had, uh, no, 2002 to 2009. It had eight seasons. And it was very interesting. Uh, so the premise is, is that Adrian Monk, Mr. Monk, is a private consultant for the San Francisco Police Department. Uh, he has a bunch of phobias, and he also has obsessive compulsive disorder. So, like, he has fears of heights, fears of germs, fears of the dark, fears of milk. Like, he has a whole bunch of fears that don't make sense. And yet, uh, they call upon him because of his OCD. He's actually able to piece together, like, if an impossible murder happens, like if uh, this person was here in California and their spouse was on the other side of the country... Monk is able to figure out to how they were able to, you know, commit the crime of murder or robbery or whatever else. So yeah, it ran for a while and it was an interesting series. It was a, it was labeled as a dramedy because it was found a way to balance the seriousness of the drama and also to have comedic elements involved. Um, it, won, and it won several awards. Also, it, it was interesting because like a the uh, like a main character an actor for the show uh, they resigned and they had to replace someone halfway through the season so there were some bumps here there and then another character passed away so yeah they the show it had its it had its hurdles it had its problems but it found a way to keep going forward and i think it stuck around for the right amount of time it didn't overstay its welcome it didn't end too soon and it actually had everything come full circle it had uh, closure and which then transitioned into the film so the film so I'd say the series, uh, so yeah, there were good episodes, a lot of them, but there were some episodes that were sad, some that I didn't care for, and some where either the episode itself or parts of an episode, uh, there are some cringe, cringy moments in there. So I'd say the series, it's a, uh, I'll, I'll give it a nine. It was really good. Now for the film itself. So, the, so like I said, the film, the series ended in 2008, so we had roughly... So roughly, so and the film takes place this year. So in the film, Monk is semi-retired and trying to do some things with his life now. Uh, after the conclusions of after the conclu conclusions from uh, the uh, main series, but then someone very close to Monk, uh, someone has a, a problem, a tragedy, because uh, well, a major crime is happening. So Monk has to come out of retirement one more time. To try to solve, well, as the title says, without having to spoil anything, his last case. This is interesting because, like, there was a video clip of one of the people who was no longer with the show, but uh, this this uh, movie, it was a cast reunion. Monk is back, his assistant is back, the people he's worked with is back. Everyone pretty much comes back. Uh, there was like a cast change from. There was a major character at, in the final season, who. They also brought back into uh, this film, but a uh, casting change. 
The film is good. It's a little over 90 minutes. The first half of the film, like I said, it deals, it, it's kind of dark, it's kind of depressing. There's a few moments of chuckle here and there, but the film, yeah, it, uh, it's a little, it might be a little hard to watch, so just make sure you're in a good mindset. But the second half of the film, while still dealing, it does have a couple of dark elements still in there, but it does embrace the funny again. It is like a monk episode, but a, a little darker. Also, the fact is, each monk episode, uh, aside from the pilot episode, that was a two-parter, each episode is an hour long, this episode's like 30 minutes longer, so it's roughly within the same time length of a typical episode, just a little longer. Um... It's interesting seeing how every, uh, the character development of everyone since the uh, from the entire series up until this point and how it ended. Yeah, so I enjoyed the film, but uh, like I said, there it was just there were some parts that was just like it was a good film, but there were some parts that were just kind of sad and like I said, a little dark. Um, every, and I'm just really glad that they got everyone back because like they even had a thing here on YouTube where they had a. Uh, uh, it had a quick check-in with Monk and everyone from a couple years ago. But yeah, so, and it's cool to see how some people are just now discovering Monk for the first time. So if you're a fan of Monk, or if you're interested, like I said, so here's what, watch the series first. It provides a lot of context because, like, here's what, for me, when I saw the film, I kind of was able to predict how the crime happened roughly after the crime happened since I've seen Monk so much, and it was interesting seeing how Monk had changed and growth and had uh, development, both as the character and as Monk, the series, uh, for this film. That being said, and I've rambled on a long time, I'm sorry about that, I give, I give Mr. Monk's Final Case, a Monk movie, I give it a 7 out of 10. Yeah, so give, give, give it a shot, but like I said, for, like I said, Watch the series for context, and like I said, be warned as one character is dealing with a very is coming from is dealing with a very dark, uh, the sad foreboding thoughts of wanting to end their own life. But like I said, if you or some of you know has those thoughts, there is help. There is a prevention hotline, and there is a website. Either you or the person who needs to find it or see it or call it, please do so. Yeah, so enjoy the film, but yeah, just err on the side of caution. Thank you very much. That's all the time we have for this episode. Until next time, this has been Lucha Man for Lucha Man Reviews. And thank you for watching, and as always, have a nice day.